is looking right at them. Welcome back, legends. I'm a bit tired. <laughs> I've, um, I've been truffling all day, so I've already walked about bloody 10, 20 k's. Um, but we're out. We're going to see if we can't find a deer for the freezer. So chasing just anything I can mince up because I am out of mince. I want to make some sausages, and we eat a lot of mince around the house. So we're going to see what's uh, around, if there isn't a doe or a cull buck or, or something that'll fit nicely in the freezer. And... Um, yeah, we'll just have to get out there and, and see what walks in front of us, hopefully.
Sim. Heidi did not want to play the game then. She is just like so excited. We've been truffling all day and she's just amped up. I think I just dropped that buck like a stone. <laughs> I got it on camera too. Let's go have a check, eh? I'm 99% sure I see him on the ground there. He, um, it was a really bit of a weird shot and not a lot of time to get ready. Um, but I'm very confident with the 223, so um, at least within, you know, 150, 200 metres. I just know it shoots like a goddamn laser. So, He is a stud. He's really pretty. He's not got very wide palms. As you can see, he's busted off part of his antler here, but this is a beautiful palm here. Love how it turns in. Almost no brown tines. I don't know if I'll get much of a trophy off him, but I needed a, a mince buck, and, and he, uh, he provided a shot. I only had the one, one shot at uh, 160 or something, and that was in the back of the head, so... um. I took it. He's even split his ear fighting. It looks like a not even that old of a wound. Maybe, maybe, oh, maybe it was. He might have caught that on barbed wire or something. But um, even with you being a giant distraction, we still made it happen, didn't we? You were not very helpful today, Miss. Um, but yeah. Oh. I'm gonna get this guy minced up, and um, he will be going in the freezer and sausages and mints and everything else we need but yeah absolute beautiful of a buck he was actually with a couple of does so he's obviously spread his seed um yeah happy days oh. welcome back we uh got lucky with that nice buck uh friday now it's sunday uh, and we realized we haven't done a burritos before so this is not traditional burritos um, I'm sure people from Mexico probably tell me that this is very wrong but this is how we do it um, we minced up most of that buck uh, I'm gonna put it's we're just running low on mint so, so we make some sausages as well uh, with that pig I shot a little while ago and we also make some biltong and um, but a lot of the other mints is for our daily eating so we start off making some tortillas um, which we do flour tortillas because I haven't had corn tortillas that I really like. Two cups of flour. Teaspoon of sugar. And one teaspoon of salt, brown, brown sugar. And I've got 50 grams of melted butter here. I'm gonna put about half of that in. And we need two thirds of a cup of what should be warm water. This is gonna be way too hot. So that is pretty much all combined. I'm add the rest of that butter. So I got a nice smooth dough. Got a ancho chili seal, and I've got chipotles. I usually double the um, chipotles that I rehydrate and throw in compared to the anchos. They're just a bit sweeter. Move that to rehydrate for a sec. I've got about 
a bit over a kilo of mints here from today. Um, and I've got salt, cumin, chili, chipotle, paprika. I'm also going to throw in garlic and some stock and also a few tins of homemade tomatoes. Now I really want quite a lot of tomatoes in there, or tomato flavour. I'm going to add a bit of our dried tomatoes that we did too. Tomatoes that was basically like the um, sauce that I then partially dehydrated and they turn into little kind of tomato stock cubes. When we've got lots of fresh as well, I'll throw quite a lot of fresh ones in there as well. Um, and really get that going. Homegrown garlic. Always need a lot of garlic. Five cloves of garlic for about the 1.4 kilos of meat. Got all that. It's gonna go in now. So now I'm let that cook down for about, well, until it's a lot thicker. And then I'm gonna add some lentils and kidney beans. Now rested for half hour or so, 20 minutes and I'm just going to make kind of golf ball sized balls out of it. The reason I make my own tortilla dough, besides the fact that it tastes a lot better, is I made the mistake of reading what was on the, the back of a packet and how much crap was in tortilla dough, like most things you get from the um, shops. So that is why we make it ourselves now. Plus, it's handy to be able to do because our nearest shop is over half an hour away. So I'm gonna flatten these now and then they're gonna get rested again. Got a tortilla press, you really don't need one. You can just you can just flatten it with a rolling pin. Um, you need to kind of do it twice though, which is why I use the tortilla press. Because I'm gonna flatten these, stack them, let them rest for another 20 minutes, half an hour, and then I'm gonna roll them out and cook them. It's gonna come out, dust with flour. All the tomatoes in there are chopped. I'm gonna throw some garlic in there, salt and pepper. And oh, yeah. Just gonna roll out these tortillas now. Normally we'd use pickled jalapenos, but we do not have any, and we grew some chilies and jalapenos this year, so it'll be fresh. Alright team, we are ready to go. So, we've got our tortillas, you can see they are beautifully soft. Always start with two, so when you drip, drips on the next one. Just sour cream, cheese. That always overfill. That's all right. Come on out, team. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.